Hey, welcome, it's Wasabi, my big bad baby boys. This is EverQuest 2, um, and it is fantastic. Uh, it is no longer a game that exists uh, properly. If you look, yes, there's, there's a live version. It's no longer run by the same people, I don't believe, by Zoe. Um, but this is EverQuest 2. It's an emulation project, if you look down here, uh, that some people are working on. I believe it's in the very early stages, but I wanted to give it a little look-see. Um, let's create a character here, because I believe a couple months ago I created that character and uh, things have changed since then, so I want to jump in and take a look. Uh, we're going to be a good barbarian boy. Uh, you know what, this actually looks like a good barbarian boy to me. Uh, <laughs> zero online. It is not currently a... Uh, let's skip tutorial. It is not currently... Let's not skip tutorial. Let's get a random name and... Udo, Udok. And skip tutorial. Um, it is not currently... Um, really a playable game it's just uh a proof of concept i believe um and they're, they're working on getting the basic bits probably like the first level uh first 20 levels of the game in but if none of you played this back in what like 2004 this <laughs> okay this game was uh the absolute best game it was going to change i think the way that we um the way that we thought of, oof, uh, multiplayer, MMOs, all that stuff. But the thing about it is, if you notice, I said back in, uh, 2004, that's also when WoW came out. So WoW came out, and then this game, uh, kind of died player-wise, and in response to that, of course, they started copying all the things that WoW was doing, and it lost all of what made this game great. So I'm hoping that we can see a few of those things here in the game. Uh, we're going to fight a weak sparring partner. A few of the things that made this game great. Uh, or just, just help maybe with some nostalgia for some of you guys out there that have played this game way back in the day. Um, experience some of those old things that just don't exist anymore. Uh, and, and yeah, have a good time while we're doing it. This game was absolutely my childhood. I played a little bit of EverQuest 1, but I was too young for it, really. Uh, I think I was maybe like 10 or 11, which at that point was not enough to really understand what was going on in the game. Um, and then I was like a, you know, middle school boy, just having a good time on here. It was great. Uh, so I, I, I'm going on and on about why it was great, or, or that it was great, but I haven't really told you why it was great. Uh, this game, remember the fact that uh, it's called a massive multiplayer online role-playing game? The role-playing aspect actually matters. Uh, and you should be making a hero that's like cool and does cool hero stuff. Um, and you should feel connected to the character and it should be meaningful, the progression that you have in the game. Uh, I don't think they even... Yeah. Uh, I don't have the acquired skills. I, I believe I saw that they're working on adding in... Uh, adding in the quests to um, do things. I can collect at least. Might not have the quests to, uh, to start off. Or maybe I just haven't um, done the proper update for that yet. Uh, anyways... We can't really do a whole bunch yet. Uh, I believe they've just gotten started on on putting in the proper questing for the first ten levels. Uh, if you go down to the link below, you should be able to find like the Discord and everything, uh, and see what progress they are making. It's just awesome uh, looking at all this stuff and remembering just the adventures that we had all those years ago. Ah. Uh. But one thing that made this game great, I think, was uh, you didn't you didn't just start your character with a class. I hate that. Why why am I some awesome knight or wizard or whatever that no, knows nothing at the start of a game? Um, and it it seems weird. Uh, this game had a whole system devoted to developing your character into the hero that you'll be by level 50 or whatever. Because um, the first, wow, what, 
four levels. You can just be a commoner, a beginner, whatever it was. I can't remember the name for it. Um, probably commoner. And then after that, you had to choose a class of uh, of fighter, mage, uh, healer, or scout. I think I think they were. Uh, they they had the kind of uh, ooh. He's a big bad boy. We might have to run around because I want to see it. See a little bit more of this place. Um, they had a bunch of. Uh, they, they had the four different classes of, you know, basic roles that you have of tank, DPS, healer, all that. Um, and then. Encounter, okay, I got away. And then, uh, once you reach level 10, there's a series of quests to uh, choose one of uh, three different specializations from there. So, uh, for instance, I believe, um, I can't remember probably all the names of them, but as a fighter you could choose to be um, one of the magic fighting people, like, uh, I think it's Crusader was what they were called, um, which gives you some spells uh, that you use along with being, you know, a plate tank or a DPS. A paladin or a shadow knight uh, later on in the game. Ooh, going swim in. Woo! Uh, and then, yeah, once you become a crusader, uh, later on you could then do another quest at level 20 to become a shadow knight or a paladin. Ooh, scary sharks. Let's get away from them. Uh, oh, they might, they might mangle me. But the game for 2004, look at this. This is beautiful for 2004. It still holds up today, and oh my goodness, what's that? Uh, there is... There is a big bad boss in the water. Um, we might die here. We died here. Let's revive. Um, yeah, it was, it was just such an awesome experience, uh, growing your character and all that. Into, into the hero they were by level 20, and then... Um, continuing them on past that. And they had the same uh, class system for uh, crafting. And it just felt really good. That all of those big milestones were quests. Which makes sense in the name EverQuest. Uh, in EverQuest 1, all the big milestones I felt like were just uh, camping uh, a, a boss for many, many hours. Until finally you get the thing you need. I'm just going to wander around while I'm rambling, because that's what this is turning into. There's not enough, really, features that I have here um, to show off anything, but I, I just I just want to show off this game, because it was it was such a meaningful part of my childhood. <sighs> and it had a really cool story to it, um, that I, I remember loving the questing that went along telling the story. Uh, if you look up here, boom bam, that's the moon. That's where the cat people are from, I believe. I, I don't know, I didn't really get too into the lore in EverQuest 1. Um, but there's a great cataclysm. Uh, there's amazing uh, promo materials that were coming out in like 2003, uh, 2004 for this game that just got me so hyped for it. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, but there's a great cataclysm that basically destroyed the whole world that you played in, in, uh, in EverQuest 1. And all of the big cities are dead and gone, or they're now overrun by a bunch of baddies that you can... Oh, that's so nice of you. Mr... Oh, I thought it was a troll. He's a cat. He's a cat, people. Ashar. Ashar Grawl. Um, yeah, so everything is dead in the world except for the two cities of Kinos and Freeport. Uh, Freeport being now where all the big baddies are and Kinos being where all the goody two-shoes are. Uh, and your classes were kind of confined if they were good or bad to one of those two cities. Uh, but if you're kind of like a neutral class, I think like a monk was... You can be a bad monk, a good monk, doesn't matter. A good wizard, a bad wizard, doesn't matter. Uh, you could go wherever you wanted. And that was also a really cool system. Um, because there was a betrayal quest. If you decided you didn't want to be a Shadow Knight, you wanted to be a Paladin, you could go through this long, laborious te uh, quest to switch your home city from Freeport to Kinos, and it was it was a fun time. Uh, but it it did uh, offer 
a lot of uh, condensing of the population, uh, making it feel massive in multiplayer. The fact that everyone was, you know, gathered around these two main hub cities. And uh, there's only like two uh, leveling paths going out from those two cities. Uh, and they were very varied in, you know, the mobs and um, the scenery. And it was two very unique experiences that were both very uh, cool to have. But man... Just, I, I, want, I want to be able to play this game properly. Because what it is now, the live version, um, it just doesn't feel this way. The soundtrack is amazing. It just gets you so encapsulated in the game. Man, I miss this game. Um, and the experience of actual, you know, uh, fun <laughs> being had uh, before you reach the maximum level was also an amazing experience, which is something that I think that uh, MMOs just don't care about. Maybe at launch, some MMOs care about you having fun when you uh, first start the game. Hi, friends. Uh, but by a couple expansions in, they don't care. Everything before uh, the level cap is just is just filler. It's just wasting time till you get there. Um, I don't think, because I was pretty young, I wasn't good at games, still not good at games, uh, but I was pretty young when this game came out. Um, I don't think I ever, in the original game, uh, reached the maximum level. And I still have such amazing memories of this game, just because the experience I had was so impactful on me. Uh, that I remember it so fondly. And in fact, I remember <laughs> what now it was 18 years ago, being in this exact spot and looking up and realizing that the moon was broken and realizing that my little cat friend from EverQuest 1 is definitely dead. Um, but that that artwork was there to show that this this world um, was the same one, and that the, the events that they described really happened. Man. I hope one day that uh, we can all be here having a good time. Killing these things, being, being noobs together. Getting to uh, Antonica for what is the, the is it worn dwarven boots or something? The old dwarven boots? There's a good quest for some good boots, um, where the instants fight at the end that I, I think I probably lost as a kid like 20 times. Oh man. I, I'm definitely going to just label this as a ramble because this isn't gameplay, this is just me uh, reminiscing about this game. I, I don't know. Looking back, I don't know if it's just that I was at the age that all of this hit home to me so sincerely. Or if it was such an impactful game. Okay, I don't sit down. <laughs> but I mean... It was... It was something special. I, I, I do think that. EverQuest 1 was kind of like the granddaddy of all of the uh, all of the MMOs. It really set the precedent before World of Warcraft set, you know, the standard of what everything would be afterwards. But this game, I think, took EverQuest 1 and thought, what can we change? to make the experience more impactful and memorable. And I remember, I think, like, every moment I spent in this game. I mean, it might have been a lot of escapism as well, because that wasn't a great time in my life growing up. But just every memory, so vivid, 
of running around. I remember specific people grouping up with them. I remember uh, them helping me to finish quests. I remember uh, sp specific groups that I had going in. Is that a second moon over there? Uh, <laughs> specific groups that I had in different zones killing uh, gnolls down in, um, was it Blacktooth? And I, I, I look around at all like the nostalgia games that are coming out, um, like Old School RuneScape, uh, of course, isn't coming out. It's been out for a long time. Uh, there's WoW Classic that came out a few years ago. And they've even done time lock servers, but they don't, uh, for EverQuest 2 that is, but they don't bring back all of the old features and the old uh, class system and the old locations um, that they've since removed from the game. And while I know that, like, this game would die eventually if they brought out a classic version of it, uh, because not enough people played it, at least in its original version. It was a, I, I know it was a commercial success at first, uh, but just coming out so soon before World of Warcraft, uh, I know that the commercial success also did not last. Uh, for but a few months uh, before all the players switched over to WoW. And the direction of the game changed from then, so anybody that came back after that point uh, wouldn't have any nostalgia for this era. Within the first, I think, one or two uh, expansions before they started to change everything. Man. Go and uh, go and check out in the description. Like I said, I'll leave it there. Uh, any information about uh, the Zek Labs, the people that are working on this, and all that. Um, maybe if I can find the the Discord uh, for them, you can keep up with the progress they're making. And I hope to see you here one day, even if it's just for a minute, to relive some old nostalgia and hopefully make a few new memories. I'll see you later. Bye.